Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stewing Thursday Plays Total Warhammer. <laughs> I almost said Poor Honor. I haven't played that in a long time. My name is Stewing33. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Total Warhammer. I was taking stock before the episode started here, trying to remember what we need to do, and um, I think I've got a good handle on it. So we're going to try to grab some of these islands and try to get our money back up. Uh, I've hurt our economy by running two armies without having the proper income necessary to, like, actually support that. Um, so it's something that we're going to have to correct. Uh, mostly by turning Skeggy into our new home province and kind of ignoring Grey Rock Point. I know Grey Rock Point's, like, where we started. I will try to hold on to it as much as we can. But, frankly, uh, it's only a minor province, and I don't really want to push into Salinjator. It just isn't worth the effort. So we'll take Skeggy, and we'll probably take the rest of Skeggy's province as well, uh, Port Reaver and Swap Town, when we can. But for now, uh, the army seems well built-ish. I mean, you know, it's a lot of guns, but I think we can live with it for now. We're gonna end our turn so that next turn we can go in with uh, Silostra and take this Skull Island right here, and hopefully fight a big battle and hopefully get a lot of money out of it. That's the goal, at any rate. Um, Realistically, what, we, what we're looking for is that Silostra should hopefully be able to fight with whatever she has on her. Uh, between her and uh, the Knight of the Round Table guy, I'm hoping that that'll work out. Um, we'll eat the movement, the range, the <laughs> movement penalty, and instead push forward to this island here push you forward as well we're gonna get a rebellion over here which is fine because ziggurat of the dawn is level two doesn't have walls which isn't great or i guess that's model of like ziggurat of the dawn someone we like recently took uh there's nothing i can do about it so we're just gonna ignore it um if it gets taken it's just more fodder for us to get post battle loot off of and stuff where was I sending you? I don't remember. Well, it was to go treasure hunting. That's right. I remember now. We're going to try to guess which one of the places was uh, what. Hopefully we can make this happen. My uh, So I run a dual monitor setup, and one of my monitors is broken. Or I guess it's, it's, it's technically it's on the fritz. I don't know if it's broken or not, because... Frankly, um, difficult to determine. Oh, I didn't realize that we were at war with that rogue army. <laughs> ah, fuck. Okay. Um, we'll fight it because we might be able to win it if we're clever about our placement. They have a lot of cavalry and that Charybdis is kind of gnarly, but hopefully we'll use the Morn Ghouls to wipe out their bolt throwers. Um... And hopefully we can make something happen here. There's nowhere good to hide the Morn Ghouls, unfortunately. I guess we could hide them in this patch over here. Maybe we can use this mountain for cover. Pop ourselves in the corner over here. Or over here, I guess. No, we should pop ourselves in the corner here. So that way they move the bolt throwers, hopefully, to, like, here. And then we can run the Morn Ghouls around like this and slam into them. The Manticores are going to be a nightmare... I'm a little nervous about this, to be completely honest, but, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. I didn't realize it. I, that's completely my bad. Um, grab all of you. Form a gigantic mishmashed line here. Oh, come on. The problem with mob units is that they darn't uniform which is something that we are going to have to get rid of eventually is all of these mob units gunnery mob and all that like see how like they're like really regimented it's really easy to move them in such a manner where they will be useful we'll hide our morn ghouls over here they're hidden right yep okay because they've got stock. And what we'll do is we will fall back to, like, this corner over here to in order to reduce the number of douchebags that we need to deal with at any given time. <laughs> we'll 
back as far into the corner as possible. We'll wait for the rest of their army to move out and get away from the bolt throwers, which I think are over here somewhere. I can't see them. Oh, there they are. Yeah, we'll wait for the rest of the army to get away from the bolt thrower, and then what we'll do is march on them with the Morn Ghouls. Like, we could technically send the Sirens in, but, um... We just gotta be... We gotta be smart about this. Otherwise, we're gonna get our asses kicked. They have a lot of cavalry units, which is why we're backing all the way up, if you're wondering. Um, in an open field, the cavalry will just tear through us like we're not even there. Yep. And we need to let the rest of this army get away from the, uh, bolt thrower. Otherwise, we're going to be in a heap of trouble. I mean, we're in a heap of trouble anyway, because... They're not obligated to move towards us, so the AI probably won't. It'll just let the bolt throwers tear us apart real bad. As you can see. So, like, I'm tempted to move up to, like, here. Oh, wait, no, they're coming in. Back up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Redraw the lines. Don't lock them in. Just redraw the lines. Alright, we'll grab our Morn Ghouls. Take out the Bolt Throwers with them. Hopefully before we get too much damage dealt to us. Alright, Silostra. Got some Knights... Hmm. I'm trying to like work out what our best strategy here is. We're gonna lose whatever units. Th it's just a gunnery mob unit. It's fine. Get them faster, please, if you would. The bright part is that there is a bunch of trees in the way, so some of these bolts are getting eaten by the trees, which is nice. So hopefully we'll be able to do this. I'm, like, a little nervous, obviously, but they have to come to us, and we've sort of squished them really bad with the corner. Which was the idea. Oh, 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 stop moving, stop moving. Don't, don't, don't do that. I need you guys to not run away. If they run, then it breaks our lines up really bad, and we end up getting screwed super hard. Hopefully they can hold out for a little while there. Alright, Silostro, it's time to tip this in our favor using some magic. Come on, fire some lines. Let's let's do this. Oh, that's cool looking. Oh Lord, that did a lot of damage. Ho ho ho! Let's fucking go. Alright, sirens, get in there. You guys shoot that guy. I, like need to back some of these units up a little bit, I think. Back up some of the gunnery mobs. Let the other, like the melee pirates, take up the brunt of the damage here. Hopefully, between, hopefully we'll manage this. I mean, it's gonna be tough anyway. Like regardless, I didn't mean to hit that button because it screws up all of our stuff. It gives us more power, but it puts everything on cooldown temporarily, which is, you know, not great. Why don't you guys shoot at that? Yeah, they have 
unfortunate thing is by doing the strategy, which I do think is effective, by the way. I do think it's working. We would definitely be dead without it. Our Morgul's are dead. Oh, I left them out just like by themselves getting hammered. Not great. Some of the knights over there. Broadside these archers. Shoot them down, please. We can just free up some of our units. I think we can make this happen. Some of them over there. Just teardrop this way. Hopefully with some magic we can make this happen. We're definitely in a heap of trouble here. Like... Not even funny how bad this is going. <laughs> That's okay. We're just going to have to live with it. Like, it's just the way this is going to need to be for right now. Really stupid. I'm really mad that I didn't even, I didn't even notice that they were hostile. All the sirens are breaking. Alright, that like that. Push some of these units off of us. Come on, you guys can do it. Yeah, I really screwed the pooch. It's like my first thing I'm doing today is this. So, I mean. Like, summon them, please, lady. Thank you. Run them up a bunch of cavalry. Kind of hoping we can, like, we're pulling this off very slowly using some of our, our hero units. that hopefully that'll do some damage did it's working ish and by working ish I mean we're definitely dying but you know it looks good <laughs> Use the wand over in melee with these two monster things over here. And yeah, the manticores were a fucking nightmare. It's not great. It's not great. Losing this army wasn't great. But, you know, the cost of doing business here, I guess, like, I just didn't realize it. Which is on me, like, you know, shit happens. On the bright side, this does sort out our economy a little bit. That's a lot to lose.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stewing 33 Plays Total Warhammer. Oop. My name is Stewing 33. I thought I stopped my recording for a second there. <laughs> uh, and today, I, I've been surveying the area, um, and I think... So, last episode, I remember we were going for the Skull Island, and we're going to go for this island to fix up our income a little bit here. Um, but I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to gut some of these guys um in order to like we're just because i'm just gonna use him to grab these things so i'm not intending to fight with him right now uh i'm almost tempted to just cut him entirely because frankly we're running low on money here and <laughs> i don't think it's such a good move to have a second army for no reason um so in fact let's do that let's kick him uh, that'll put us up to a thousand, which means next turn we can also afford to get um, a vampire captain with uh, Kaliostra, which will let us go ahead and put uh, pirate coves in some of these locations with docks, which will help us out tremendously. I think like that's out of all the things we could do, that's probably the best. And this rogue army right here, I'm a little nervous. Uh, I've been playing. I have a high elf campaign that I'm playing off camera because I really like this game. Um, and the pirate factions have a tendency to jump on you even if they're not at war with you. Like, they'll just pick a fight. Like, they'll just scoot up next to you and attack you. Like, declare war and attack you immediately. Uh, kind of like what I do to the AI a bunch, but uh, douchier because they're way stronger than you at the start of the game. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to back Silostra up. Um... We're going to back Silostra up to Skeggy. We're going to get the hell out of here. Which is probably a good idea. Uh, take a little bit to, like, figure out what the hell's going on with us. And since we're nearby now, we can also uh, get ourselves a pirate. Uh, but I want to get... I want to get a deep pirate. I'm taking a look at their abilities. Because... We'll grab, we'll grab a deep pirate, and we'll grab you. That way, if you somebody tries to assassinate you, it won't be a big deal. And we're going to pop a pirate cove in a Port Reaver at the first opportunity we get. Hopefully, we'll be able to sneak out and grab uh, the Skull Island, which will be which would be tremendously helpful. If I do say so myself. Um, I think I'm going to grab Felbets. We seem to be having... We're having a lot of trouble with artillery. Which isn't great. Um, and so I think we will... We'll grab bats in order to try to help us out with that. Because we, we can send the bats in to take out the artillery units with the Morn Ghouls if we wanted to. Uh, don't get me wrong. The actual ideal situ solution is grab a second Morn Ghoul unit. But that, you know, it's a luxury we don't have at the moment. We'll take out this uh, army right here. Hopefully that'll give us some good post-battle loot and we'll be able to really make this happen um uh yeah fuck hexodile i don't really care about them at all so they can they can bite me there you go we're gonna establish a pirate go with that money we got from that event we're gonna come over here and smash this rebel army like this um i think what we'll do with this one is we'll probably establish a Picaroon's hideout. Uh, fifty percent of eight hundred of eight hundred is four hundred, so you know I think that that makes sense. Like this one, it doesn't make sense to do the. It makes more sense to do like the flat number. Uh, yeah. So let's grab this. Unliving reflexes is pretty good, especially at the start of the game here while we're using mostly gunnery mob and shit gunnery mob uh establish pirate cove that reduces the cost of that um we have to wait so we get like a penalty yeah 100 percent. it costs 100 percent more gold to make a pirate cove after you do it once with the with the hero units um for good reason to be honest uh the hero units getting to do it basically for free is like really strong so i'm not complaining too much uh Hexodile's been down to, like, I think they only have, what, two or three? I think they have two spaces. It's literally the capital of Hexodile and the mirror pools of Topek. Of Tepak? Tepak. 
which, you know, is a thing. I would prefer to, you know, be cool and not fight Hexadol, just because they're starting... Uh, Mundi is a lot stronger of a character, and their starting army is... Actually, it's mostly Skinks right now, so it wouldn't be that bad, actually. Let's smash these guys. We'll do a fight right off the bat, even though the auto resolve will probably have meant that we lose less units, but I don't think that's a big deal. Just crush the shit out of them and be done with it. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of High Elves lately. Um, really enjoying that. And I have ideas for other campaigns that we could probably do in the future. In particular, I'm interested in playing as Helmut Gore, or Helmut, Heinrich Kemmler. Heinrich Kemmler? He's like an undead guy who starts over by Bretonia now. Uh, but he's like a... They changed a lot about him, which is why I'm interested in playing him. I actually don't like the vampire count units very much. Um... The idea that, like, most of your targets are living, and while you're moving through their territory, you take attrition is, like, absolute madness to me. <laughs> like, with the with the uh, Pirate Coast, it makes sense, because you're mostly in the water, right? So you, like, land, attack somebody, and then leave, right? But with the Vampire Counts, they're landlocked most of the time. Um, so it doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense to me to, like, have that be a thing. Let the Morgul's hang out over here. Have our fell bats hang out back here. Mostly because I just don't want to lose it. Like, I just got them, so I don't want to lose them. Uh, and we'll start the battle. I'm not terribly concerned about... about this. I'm pretty sure that we're gonna, like, actually just stomp the hell out of them with missile fire before they can even get to us. So... Uh, assuming that I remember to turn off that every single time. Gotta remember to turn off Toggle Skirmish. Skirmish is not good. Um, almost categorically, it's not good. And turn and shoot those. Let our gunnery mobs and stuff get some shots in. Please shoot them. Please don't just stand there and staring at them like you're an idiot. Do your job. Shoot the shoot the bad guys. Send you in to tie them up. And we'll use this thing, which we just got. So let's take a look-see at it. Right there. What the hell is that? It's a boat? Yo! Okay, well, we missed like hell, but... I think that's okay. Why don't you come around and slam into their backs? You help those guys out because they're idiots and didn't shoot at the frickin' bats like I asked them to. You guys come over here. You get away from the skeletons. Come over here. Maybe we should have waited until they got, like, into the mix before we did our spell, but I think it's fine. Why don't we pull you back? Yeah, holy crap. Those gunnery mobs didn't shoot at her like I, I shoot at those bats like I asked them to, and now they're gonna die. So, that's cool. Alright, let's try this again. Do it like this, though. I want to see how much damage this thing does. Let's take a look, shall we? Fire the broadsides, boys! Oh, Jesus, H. Christ! That did a lot of damage! Holy shit! <laughs> Oof. Oof.jpg. Let's go. You guys attack them. I think we're doing fine. There we go. Get some fire on those skeletons. Perfect. Alright. Yeah, this is working out fine. We're definitely losing more units than we probably would have otherwise, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> 
York bats. Get them. I'll probably swap the bats out for, like, deck droppers or something at some point. Um, which are just, like, bats carrying pirates. Right, we managed to outflank them a little bit here. Go ahead and get rid of that last pirate lord. Perfect. All right. Yeah, definitely lost more units than if we had just auto resolved it, but that was more fun. Especially since I like straight up just didn't use those bats, and those sirens were wasted. They do so much damage. I gotta remember to flank with them more. But more importantly, I think it's like I need to remember to not suck at this video game. I have to build my armies out better, I think as well. All of this is important. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, the biggest the biggest hurdle right now is that we're so early in the game, we just don't have stuff to, like, help us do better, right? Like, these gunnery mobs need to go. Um, I think they're bad. Like, they're fine for, like, the start of the game, but they're not... They're not great units. Let's grab a couple... Let's grab a bomber unit. Because we can use them to disrupt... Uh, disrupt formations while we're moving around which would be useful and then we'll probably try to we need to get better melee units is like also what we need really badly um, preferably like getting some depth guard would be nice if we can find a location that had like a battle at some point that would be really useful I'm not seeing one but we'll deal with it later probably attack Arnheim and then we'll probably we'll use that as a staging ground to like get more money. Actually, in fact, let's take you, force march you back to Skeggy. These guys appear to have pissed off, so let's gonna we're gonna head back out for that Skull Reef. I think it's gonna take three turns for us to get there because we are slow as hell apparently. Our income our incomes back up to a good ish amount. Oh, that's right. I remember we were gonna treasure hunt near monolith monument to the moon to like see if we could figure out where that treasure is to help us out a little bit here exodold has more locations than i thought they did and they have a second army down here somewhere that apparently isn't made of skinks so that's good i just gotta get my head back on straight oh push ahead definitely want push ahead Come over here. Airy Rainer. Nothing. Within the shadow of a moon's touch and by a creeping bow lies a reef in which your prize awaits. What the hell does a creeping bow mean? Does it mean like this area over here? Maybe over here? It's in the shadow of the moon, right? So like... Oh, maybe it's, like, over here. Yeah, maybe it means over there. It does, like, it is, like, location-specific like that. So we gotta be aware of that. This has been taken out, actually. So let's, we're gonna have him check that ruin real quick. Let's put the Pickaroon's hideout in Port Reaver. Upgrade Skeggy. And let's move out. Hopefully these guys don't turn back around and come in and smash into us. We just gotta be aware. We need more money. We're gonna we're kind of struggling. We're struggling a little bit, and a lot of it's because we're in what might actually be the worst starting position I've ever been in in a game. Like, we start out as a minor province owner, surrounded by Hexodel, who has the best starting units in a game, Dark Elves, whose starting units are all armored and shielded. And who have, like, ranged units that are about as strong as ours. And our sea tiles have several of these rogue pirate armies in them. So, this is pretty rough, I'm going to be honest. There are a couple Skull Islands. We've gotten pretty lucky with that. And the fact that we also blight the ground near us gives us an advantage inherently. Jim Dean, our lord, is uh, available again. 
I want to make sure that I'm in not forced march, so that way if somebody decides to jump on us, it won't matter. Let's also kick out another one of these guys and grab a second bomber unit. That way we can have them on both flanks. Yeah, so maybe maybe it means over here. Dig. Nope. All right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it means. If you guys have any ideas, it says it's like over here somewhere. So I have a feeling that I'm just not reading it right. Maybe. Lies a reef in which your by which your prize awaits. So that might actually that might be over here somewhere. Maybe. Maybe we'll, we'll check up and down the. I don't know what a bow is though. Maybe it's over here somewhere. I don't. Don't actually know. What the hell is this? A little lantern floating around, floating around over there. All right, cool. We'll deal with that next turn. Yeah, has not moved. We'll have her search the runes while we're waiting for this thing to come all cool down. We just I don't have the money. I mean, we're making decent bank now. Um In a perfect world, we would have an actual base to build up. Like I know the other uh three factions all start with a four province that they all get to like use as their main base. There I'm sorry, a six slot settlement, so like one of the major ones, right? We got a four slot settlement, which I mean is kinda hilarious to be honest. Of course. Why are we taking damage? Due to storms, huh? Alright, let's attack it. I feel like we could take this. Give a bonus versus large to one of our gun units, I suppose. I'm a little nervous. The carronade and the mode the mortar are probably gonna be a big pain in the ass. But luckily we got fell bats and the morn ghouls to deal with that. So we'll probably send the fell bats against the mortars and we'll send the morn ghouls against the carronade or however it ends up working out, we'll figure it out. But they have they're light on ranged units. We're a little heavy on them. Alright, well. We'll hide the Morn Ghouls over here for right now. And we'll put the bats over here in the corner. The question becomes, do we want to, like, pitch everybody to one side? I think we do. We, at minimum, want to back up a little bit here. There we go. We'll grab you three. There we go. And we'll just deal with the center using Robert and her. And hopefully we can make this happen. All right. Start the show. They are not going to attack us. So what we're going to do is sacrifice the bats. <laughs> I can see that's the mortar unit. We need to take that out. There's the carronade unit. So actually, let's send you over there, Mr. Bats. But let's approach from this side so we're away from the ranged units. Hopefully, I'm trying to... What my goal is, is to at least blow up some of the carronade. So that way we can... Um, get them to move. Like, it doesn't matter if the bats die. A, the bats are cheap, and I don't care about them. What's important is that we protect the other our other units more. 
Please attack them. Oh, they're all gone. Alright. Yeah, with the goal being that we were gonna get them to move, but. We will just have to move up on them. That's just the way it's gonna have to be. We had the Morn Ghouls hiding over here. No, no, what are you doing? Don't do that. You're gonna draw attention to yourselves. And hopefully by having uh, Robert here, Robert Baratheon here, go forward first, it'll draw their attention to him. I appear to have confused the AI a little bit here, so. The bright side that's going to cover our ingress here, which is nice. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Robert Baratheon. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yep, 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 that did a lot of damage. Oh, he got hit by something. What's that? Spirit Leech? That's annoying. Fire that there. Come on. Fire it out. Let's go. Oh, here it comes. Let's do some major damage. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Hopefully, hopefully this will work out fine. All right. Here we go. You guys come over here. You come over here. Bomb the hell out of them. You bomb them. Actually, no. You continue to bomb that thing. That. Some of the electric counts. this charge them that way there we go what we need to do is get ourselves some carronades ourselves so that way we never run into this situation again or we're on the back foot against Something like that. I am your man. Those rotting leviathans are super Fire annoying. Fireball that one. Do that. Back you up, sirens. Here are you. Keep firing, boys. Take them out. Bretonian Knights. Take them out. Moving a wedge. Get better penetration when you charge. Focus them next. 
focus that one next, rather. If we can keep up the focus fire hard enough, we can really pull this off, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to do that, please. And come over here, more ghouls. Sirens are holding, barely, but they are holding. The bombers are out of bombs. Silostra is in trouble, but it doesn't matter, I think, because I think we're, they're all breaking. They're crumbling, mass crumble. There they go. lost a lot of melee units I think but I think it's definitely gonna be worth it given that we make like 20 grand when we take these skull islands so I think I'm okay with this Do that Hopefully I'll just make a break and get the hell out of here finally without losing more units here there we go, Yictory, let's go. Perfect. Not bad at all. Lost a couple of units. Our bomber crews didn't do jack that entire time. They might be bad. Uh, it's because it, it was mostly Death Guard. These Death Guard units are so strong. Fucking 200 kills on that one. Wild. 146 on Silostra. They didn't get a lot of kills, but they did something really important. Which was wiping out those carronades and stuff. As you can see, the 78, just from leaving it alone for too long. But 18 on the uh, carronade was really useful. We weren't bringing too many big units, like no large units for the carronades, to, for their carronades to do like a number on, but that's fine. It just works out fine. What we need to do is replace all of our melee dudes with crab people. <laughs> like. Rotting Leviathans and Abomination units, I think, are probably going to be our our best bet here. Several of our units didn't get any kills. Which isn't great. That means I'm not using our... I'm not using this army correctly. Like, maybe I should be going in, like, a tiered setup instead of big lines. I don't know. It's hard to say hard to say maybe i just have too many ranged units like that's like always possible i should maybe i should reduce down to like four or five have the rest be big melee ball probably not a bad idea actually the sirens really did a number on somebody 111 kills it's pretty good 146 i gotta remember to move this game to an ssd at some point did well they did cut us in half though which isn't great but frankly i don't think it matters too much i basically loaded all of the damage into a couple units we lost the bats on purpose to you know cover us essentially while we attacked not a huge deal ransom the captives 20 k 20 k 20 k not bad get the fuck out of here storms are gonna do a number on us while we're running away but i don't think that's a big deal upgrade gray rock point upgrade monolith of the fallen gods because it's closer to the bad guys uh we will take slave pits probably or do we want to get something that'll give us units? I'm tempted to get something that'll give us units, but I think what we'll end up doing is we'll use anything that we take on land will be income generation, and then we'll make Silostra herself have all of the buildings that give us the units we want. I think that's not a bad move. Robert, Bar uh, Robert Baratheon. All right, let's go with... Go with Deadly Blade. Make him harder. Make him hit harder. We're on our way.
our way back to Skaggy as quickly as we can. So I'm not going to worry about it. Let's not do that. Let's grab some more melee units. I like, literally just said I wanted to reduce down. So let's do that. I think these bomber guys suck, so we will kick that one out. Perfect. All right. Hopefully this will work out fine. Uh, Kraken's Pull. Vortex spell that slows people down. Magical Reserves I think is great. Vargai's Revenge is, like, so good. It's, like, actually kind of stupid how good it is. We'll probably turn her into a support unit. Will probably be the new... The new idea here. So we'll live, we'll live with it. I just don't know what it means. Like I'm trying to, I'm still working out like how what the hell it means by shadow of the moon. What do you want? No, I'm not gonna give you free money. Get out of here. <laughs> They're coming in immediately and attacking us at Skeggy. We got part of the Bordello Flabellum done. Here the following building has been constructed. Silocious Balcony. Oh, well, it's going to take a little while. If I'm not mistaken, that's our special building, isn't it? Yeah, it's like our top tier unit. Our top tier building. Um, I want to build stuff, but we don't have time. We got to get back to Skeggy before it gets taken out by this rebels here. I suppose we could take out. It's a couple of large units. A couple of large boys. But if we blow up the Marauders... 58. You know what? Yeah, let's fight this battle. <laughs> I think we could take them. If we use the bloated corpse to blow up the Marauder unit... It won't be so bad. Oh, thank God we're on the other side of this map for this one. This mountain is the worst. Like, you have to basically tuck yourself in over here, I think. Is like the only way. Which actually now I'm looking at it as a very like choice defensive position. But you know. Still. Charles Sharp. Charles Sharpay. He's probably in the polearm unit. If I had a guess. Which we'll live with. I mean it's not a big deal. Although I was planning on using the pole arm unit to strike down some of these trolls, but trolls have low leadership anyway, so if we shoot them enough with like the gunnery mobs, they should be fine. And the deck droppers probably use the deck droppers to harass. It's probably the troll units. While we're waiting, that seems like a good move. Seems like a good move to me. I'm gonna do a range front move. I would prefer to be up on top of this hill so we can shoot down into melee. Perfect. All right. Should do quite nicely. Let's start the show. Immediately move all of you guys forward. Reorient these guys right there. Deck droppers, harass the harass the leftmost unit. You blow that guy up. And then we'll wait. If the dogs run in on him and blow up, that's also fine. Perfect world, it's not the trolls, but you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Blew up a couple troll units. Alright, go get them. Go get them. Fire at them, fire at them, fire at them, please. Are they not high enough up the hill or something? Could you guys shoot them, please? Right, fine. Focus over there. 
back you up and see if that'll help the situation at all. Maybe, I was like, maybe if I back up, the shots will land better. Yeah, this is one of those, like, come on, boys. Shoot the, ba shoot the bastards. We will lose this fight if you do not fire at them, please. I'm begging you. There we go. Doing a real number on him now. Right, keep firing, boys. Doing God's work right now. There we go. Every time one of these volleys goes out, it kills like three or four of the units. Like, it's really useful. apparently should come over here and fire at them instead shoot the dogs you shoot the trolls actually because you're at a bad angle shattered the dogs Let's shatter the trolls where they kill everybody that we love Just shoot something, please. Like, don't just stand there like a moron. Fire. I don't care if you shoot your own guys. Just shoot. <laughs> we go. We're getting some mass shattering going on. You guys shoot that over there. I, I changed my mind. Shoot the trolls to death while they're running away from us. There we go. Shattered that group. I shattered permanently. Shattered them. Shatter him. Right, open fire on them while they're running away. Hopefully we can wipe out one of those groups of trolls. Then we just don't have this problem next time. Actually, let's end the battle before we lose too many more full groups here. Not that I'm planning on sallying out. Well, I guess I can't sally out with this group. It's a settlement garrison. Yeah, not great. There is only my way. Frankly, it probably would have been a smarter idea for us to just hang out and let them siege us. <laughs> we will... We will get... Get to where we need to go. You check that. You come over here and check over here. We'll see if that's... What they mean. What is this? Got the world all once left. Uh, solitude is always desired. All right. So for this puzzle, um, I've worked out how to solve this. You have the four symbols. You have to pick the one that doesn't have a buddy, right? So there's two arrows. There's two weird... I guess there's not two weird air jets. There's two of these doodles, two of the horn doodles. So this one's the correct answer. We get some money, and we get a talisman of preservation, which is actually really good. So we will give that one over to Silostra. Because she is garbage. Right now, do the potion of healing. 
Good. I'm hoping that at some point she will get real strong. And we can just be good at it for a little bit, you know? We have plenty of money right now, so I'm not hurting there, which is nice. Uh, what do we what do we got here that can be helpful? Covered in cursed mist. Immune to cursed mist attrition. An old best would be nice, but can't afford that right now. We can probably take the public order one. Might be a bad, a good move here. Let's do that. We got the money. We might as well do it. Hopefully that'll help us out across the board here. Keep us from getting too many rebellions too quickly. I think we're good to go. We got some more population surplus. We're hanging in there right for right now. Um, I'm just trying to decide where we want to go now. Because our goal isn't to take a bunch of territory. Our goal is to get enough infamy to get the sea shanty verses. Um, and then to be strong enough when we get the verses to fight the sea shanty battles. <laughs> so we have to consider that as well. Part of the shit out of them. Freaking, let's go with gold. Why don't you go over here? Didn't quite make it. That's a shame. Right, you come here. We'll dig here. Hey, we found it. All right. We got some gold and some infamy. Infamy's good. We want to make sure we don't crawl up infamy too fast right now. Because we are not in a strength position to handle any more fights. Uh, like, we will just get our dicks kicked in real hard. It's only going to cost us 3k to establish that pirate cove. Which is not that bad. We will do that. And then, I think we'll probably check over here and see if there's any more coastal sediments. This appears to be untaken, so we might just go take that after we build up a little bit. Which is not a terrible idea, I think. Uh, we will take kill the cold with you to give you cold attacks if we ever decide to put you in the army. Which we might. We definitely might. Although I do think that having uh, Robert Baratheon here is probably stronger. We will do that just to keep Mundi off of our back. Because I don't think we can actually take Hexodil in a fight right now. Uh, not that it would matter, because we could just escape. But we'll hold on to Skeggy for right now. Um, I'm thinking, like, because I want to attack Port Reaver, but I, like they have a defensive alliance with uh, Hexodil right now. I don't really feel like tussling with Hexodil at the moment. But the heavy ballast is good. We can get an upgrade to get a gunnery whites and the zombie pirate gunnery crew with the hand cannons. The hand cannon crew is good, but um, it suffers from ranged issue range issues because they're like really close ranged. So I think we'll hold off on that. Instead, what we will do is we'll see if there's anything cool on the raised dead. There is not. We don't have any of the pieces of eight, so we can't do that. Uh, I don't really want to pull a deck hand in, to be honest. All right, we'll just leave it there. Skeggy, can you get walls? You can. So let's do that. We'll live with it. I, like, I want to upgrade this, but at the same time, I would rather get this building so we can start getting animated hulks. Because those are better melee units than the ones we currently have. And then we can get, like, a full army of sirens, which would be nice. Um, they're not quite as meaty as, like, you know, the deckhands are getting uh, depth guard and stuff. But they are ethereal, which means they're difficult as hell to kill, which is nice. So, you know, there's always that. Um, let's go have, let's have you check out this. If this is full of Skaven, that's bad. If it's not full of anything, we might go take Monument to the Moon and Temple of Telencan? Telencan? Telencan. 
which is not a bad move. But we have a way to turn in order to get our upgrades and shit taken care of. They're going to establish the Pirate Cove. Perfect. I'm okay with that costing like 3k to do. Hello! No! I'm not doing that back to back. You can attack me. We'll just leave. Like, <laughs> Because if they take this stuff back, we'll just establish Pirate Coves instead. The only reason we even took it is because, A, I do need a base of operations, and I think Skeggy's going to be it. Um... Like, I don't need to own all, like, all the provinces in the world, but we do need a big major capital city to hang out in. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, well, Stealing, you could have just pushed in and taken this. You're right, except that I feel like that defeats the purpose of playing as the pirates. Uh, slay them, take the money. Sure, one of the following has been extracted. Desolated Shoal, Smuggler's Jetty, Army of the Soulless. Is that this place's? No, those are Smuggler's Cove and the other one. Okay, well, we'll build a Smuggler's Cove. It must be a building type. Oh, okay, yeah. So it wants us to build up our ports, which we will do. I have no problem doing that. This adds walls. Like, I don't want to hold on to the territory if we can avoid it, but I do think it's probably a good idea. Probably. We'll see. I've been wrong before. Alright, and then you're having public order issues. Mostly caused by a lack of corruption, so we'll build the corruption building there. We'll probably dump that. We're not... I'm not intending to, like go back to refill or retrofit at any point so we'll probably just ignore that we will take specialist because i'm not planning on putting you in an army right now By hilt or sword, shall fall. the only thing i don't let's just get rid of that notification because i don't really care about it castle rock is not great we'll probably put walls in there actually instead of that building which seems like a decent enough move in my opinion and i think we're gonna be doing a-okay a-okay all right now i gotta check and see how long we've been running here oh jesus has been going on for a very long time uh we'll take care of this in the next episode so for now thank you all so much for watching if you guys like what you saw, let me know. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on when I post more videos. If you really like what you saw, leave a like. Helps the channel grow. Helps me out a great deal. But of course, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Boop!